Hi friends! Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz aka Knife Girl. I'm happy to have you here. So for this video I thought I would talk about some travel hacks I have slash maybe they're more like airport hacks but you can use them outside of the airport too. But these are just a few little tips and tricks that I have found kind of just make my life easier in general especially when traveling and dealing with airports and blah blah blah. So if you are interested in getting a few little tippies and trickies then hang out with me and keep on watching. Let's get into this video. So I have traveled a bit. I'm not you know any kind of expert world traveler or anything but I do fly on airplanes fairly regularly so I guess that's my qualifications for this. I'm saying that because I'm not claiming to be any kind of expert. I'm not going to change your life with any of these tips. Maybe I will. I don't know. I doubt it. But these are just a lot of little small things that... Here, let me say this. My qualifications are I have flown on planes a lot and I'm an anxious person and Part of my anxiety is like worrying about every little tiny thing that can go wrong and having a contingency plan or having a remedy for it already with me in my possession. So my qualifications for giving you this list is have flown and am anxious. Yeah, again, these are all just like small little things that I have with me to or that I do to make my life easier and appease that little gnawing anxiety that I always have inside of me. So I don't know, let's get into the dumb list. Uh, the first item, not the boot, the shoelace. So these shoelaces are elastic. They're stretchy. I got these from Amazon and they come in a million colors. And this is why they're my hack. If you're traveling somewhere in the winter, you're probably gonna have some kind of boots, some kind of, you know, weather resistant footwear. And trying to get through security wearing these boots is a hassle, but they're so big that you don't wanna keep them in your suitcase. You wanna wear them so that you have more room in your suitcase for things, you know, that you're gonna need. So the hack is using these uh, elastic shoelaces allows you to literally just slip these boots on in like half a second and you can also put them on your regular shoes i love these elastic shoelaces so much that i put them on almost all of my shoes <laughs> i have a couple pairs of high top converse that i put them on i have just regular tennis shoes that i put them on and it literally just turns any shoe into a, a slip-on and i've always found these to be really secure like my shoes don't fall off my feet they literally now i just can slip them on don't have to tie them or anything and yeah i put them on a lot of my boots i kind of use these as my rain boots so that's kind of handy i can just and then go which is also kind of handy for travel because sometimes i don't know you're running late or you're going you know places a lot and it's just kind of a hassle to have to actually stop and tie your shoes and I feel like that as little time as it does take to tie your shoes I think that time could be better spent somewhere else on adventures so yeah so that's my first hack is elastic shoelaces and these are also convenient for kind of people who have like mobility problems especially like in your hands if you know doing small tasks with your hands is a challenge these might help you a lot that's my first one my second one is not any specific product but it's more of kind of an idea that idea is eliminating as many liquid items as possible i know that this hack is not necessarily going to work for everybody because everybody has kind of different needs especially as far as like skincare or hygiene needs what have you so this is just something to consider this is what works for me but i've kind of got my toiletry kit down to a science where i really don't have any like liquids so i don't really have to pull them out at security i don't know 
I think the most liquidy thing I have is this toothpaste. Does that count as liquid? I don't know. Someone can tell me if I'm going to get arrested going through TSA with this toothpaste. But basically the last few times that I've flown, I haven't really like put my things into a little, you know, clear bag like they've told you to because I didn't really have anything to put in a clear bag. Let me kind of go into a little bit more detail of what I've got. So I use bar shampoo and bar conditioner, not in my everyday life. I usually use like regular liquid conditioner from a bottle, but I do, I have incorporated using bar shampoo into my regular day-to-day -day routine anyway. So when I travel, I also use bar conditioner and it's not that big of a deviation from my normal routine. So that definitely eliminates some of your liquids for sure. I think that's probably people's most used like liquid in travel and the thing is when you put your shampoo and conditioner in those tiny bottles they really don't last long especially like me i try to use conditioner a lot more because my hair is really dry so when i'm traveling and i use like teeny bottles of conditioner i'll usually like run out halfway through but with the the bar items they last forever like i've used these for these exact bars of shampoo and conditioner for over a year now in all my traveling and they're still got tons of life in them. So that's another thing is you don't have to worry about refilling your little bottles. Before you go, you just have it and it's ready to go. And then I also have a bar of Castile soap, which I use for my Biotti. It's just Dr. Bronner's. So I'll put a picture of the packaging here. I'm sure you've seen it. It's very common brand. And you can use it on your hair, although I have used it on my hair and it does kind of leave some residue. So I prefer to use the other actual shampoo bar that I have. If you're curious about what I have my soap in, these little soap bags, they're by Matador and they are a little expensive. I think they're like 15 to $20 per bag, but I really like these because they have uh, the dry through technology where you can put dry or you can put like dripping wet soap in here and just close it up and it'll dry automatically without like getting mildewy or anything. It does kind of get a little flaky because you've got little like dry soap essence, but it's literally just soap. So it's not, it's not like gross or anything. So I found this to be extremely handy. It's literally just a little roll top bag. You get, you know, put your soap in there, close it, and then your soap will dry and it won't get like too dry or anything. So I have one for my body soap, which is the Dr. Bronner's. I have one for my shampoo and one for my conditioner bar. And if you're curious, there are a lot of different like bar shampoo and conditioner options that you can go to. Right now I'm using an AT shampoo bar and I think my conditioner is from Norish Savannah, so I will definitely link both of those. I think the Etik company is like a bigger company, but uh, the Norish Savannah is a really awesome small business, I think out of Savannah, Georgia. Honestly, I don't know how I discovered them, probably just on Instagram or something, but I really like them because they, they're just kind of like a soap company, but they make hair bars, body bars, conditioner bars, like shampoo bars, and they're just a cool small company. There's also a company out of St. Louis, where I'm from, called Herbaria, Herbaria, but I, I actually took a tour of their facility, and it's just like a little shop where they make the soap and sell it, but they're really cool too, and I think they also have shampoo bars. I think they also have like dog washing bars. That's here nor there. But yeah, those are some really good options to find some bar shampoo, conditioner, soap things for you. Um, Lush is also one which you can find pretty much anywhere. A lot of the liquids that make up your toiletry kit is like makeup and stuff. So I used to wear a lot of makeup and I do like to put makeup on for like YouTube videos. But for my everyday day-to-day -day thing, all I'll really do is like eyeliner and maybe sometimes mascara. So really all I have is I have like a liquid liner pen. I have kind of a pencil thing and then some mascara. So that's really all I use for makeup. Again, like if you have different makeup needs, then that's your own thing and you might end up having to do the whole liquid thing. But 
I really don't. That's what works for me. And then I just have a regular deodorant, which is again like a gel. And then I have my toothpaste, which I don't think really counts as a liquid, right? It's kind of like a gel or a paste. So I never bother putting this in the little bag. And then I think that's it. That's like all the cosmetic and hygiene products that I ever really travel with. Oh, uh, that's my hack. Use bar soap. Use bar shampoo. It's really handy. And it lasts forever. And then my next hack is this. These are kind of two of the same thing and I will... I'll get into it. This one you probably saw in my last video because this is also kind of a handy, just a handy little thing to have. But this is a pocket picnic blanket. And you know, I've never tried to travel with this. This does come with little stakes so you can stake the picnic blanket down in the grass. You don't really need these. For the purpose of this, we'll just take those out and we'll just focus on this. So this is uh, a little tiny picnic blanket. And I say tiny because it folds up tiny, but it actually unfolds to be pretty large. And it's just this like ripstop nylon, which is I believe waterproof. So the reason I'm including this as a hack is because this has a lot of uses beyond just a little picnic blanket. Let me tell you what I would use this for. Because it's waterproof, you can also use it as kind of like an emergency rain cover. Like say you forgot your umbrella or you don't have a rain jacket, you could just literally unfold this and like, you know, huddle under it like a little cape or like a little a little hood and cape and use it kind of as like rain protection. You can use it to cover your bags. If you do have, say you have like a, a rain jacket, but you need to like cover your backpack so that doesn't get waterlogged, you can kind of unfold this and tuck it around and use it as, as a rain cover. You can use this kind of as like an emergency shelter, sort of. If you had some rope or paracord, you could use this to make like a, you know, kind of a roof in case you were in like a really bad situation or something. It's handy to have. You can also use this if you are going somewhere and it's raining and you want to sit down but the seats are all wet from the rain. You can use this to sit your butt down or if you need to just take a break and there's nowhere to sit, you can sit on the ground on this to keep your butt clean and dry. It just kind of has infinite uses. If your flight is delayed and you're in the airport, if you're kind of like unexpectedly like needing to sleep in the airport or something, you can lay this down on the ground and try to like take a little nap and not have to worry about being on the gross dirty airport floor. You know what I mean? I think this is just kind of an infinitely handy little thing to have as a buffer from the elements. This one I just bought on Amazon. It was literally 10 bucks. Not that expensive. It has an infinite number of uses, but I also made this one because I, I really wanted to try the Matador. Again, that same company that made the little soap bags, Matador. They also make a really, really tiny mini pocket blanket that folds up super small. It folds up to like this big, but that thing is like 20 bucks. And I was like, well, that's not worth it. I can just make my own. So what I did was I ordered a yard of this nylon ripstop off of Amazon and it did come unfinished. So literally I just used my sewing machine and I put a hem on it. It's the most basic of sewing. You don't even need a sewing machine. You just need a needle of thread and you can just sew a little hem on this. Literally just so like the fabric doesn't fray or unravel. The most basic of DIYs. And this thing folds up super small, teeny tiny. I just happen to have this bag from like, you know, one of those packable coat. I have this little bag that the, the is too small to fit the coat that it came with. So I put it in here. I just, wrap it up real tight and then it's real small compared to this one it's like slightly smaller you know so if if you really don't have a lot of real estate in your suitcase or whatever it's slightly more compact or something like that but literally this same as this you can use it as a little rain cover you can use it as a picnic blanket you can use it as a barrier to sit on things so you don't get dirty or wet all the same uses um and this one I think the fabric from Amazon was like eight bucks, 
and that was it I, I didn't do anything to it I just sewed the hem around it and I had this little baggie so even cheaper than this and this wasn't even that expensive an infinitely useful little thing to have and it really doesn't take up a lot of space so pocket picnic blanket the only thing is I would definitely make sure to get one that is waterproof so my next little hack is kind of this but also what I use this for. So this is just a little Ikea shopping bag. I also have this little Daiso shopping bag. Literally just a tiny little foldable shopping bag. You can get these anywhere. So this isn't really my hack, although I, I always carry these with me just because it's always handy to have another little bag because you never know what you're gonna need it for. But the hack is what I use it for, which is when I am going through security, when I first roll up to the airport, actually when I'm packing my bags to go to the airport, I usually bring my iPad with me on most trips because I read on it, I watch TV on it. But what I will do is when I'm packing for the airport, I'll leave my iPad in here and I'll probably throw my jacket in here so I don't have to just carry my jacket in my hands. Throw this in there, pack my suitcase, carry this bag and my suitcase to the airport. And so what I use this for is when I go through security, they make you pull your large electronic items out. So if I had a laptop, I would also put it in here. So this is just kind of, you have it handy, you can put it in the tray and you don't have to fish it out of your suitcase. Like if you tetris your suitcase all together you don't have to like dig in there and get your ipad out you can just or you don't have to dig out of your backpack get your ipad out it's literally just out of your bag it's right there you go through security and then when you are done and you're putting your shoes back on and all that jazz then you can pack this back into your backpack or your suitcase or whatever fold this up pack this away and you're good you don't have any extra bags but it's just kind of a tiny little way to expedite the process of going through security which to me is always kind of a pain so anything that I can do to expedite that process like have slip-on shoes makes my life easier less stressful if I'm running around the airport and I have like a jacket or two with me that I was intending to wear but it's just too hot I'll cram them in here and I just get a carabiner and I can clip this to my backpack so then my hands are free again you know what I mean I'm not holding my jackets or anything and then it's just handy in general to have a bag with you you never know when you're gonna need a little shopping bag okay so I think this is a dollar fifty at Ikea you've seen these bags they're not expensive they're like a dollar get one of those that's my hack and then my last hack is this a fanny pack and i have mentioned this in another video i think the video where i talked about the baboon to the moon go bag i talked about how i like to do one bag travel a lot especially because i usually only fly to vegas from los angeles and i usually just like my one backpack is like my main bag and then i will have my fanny pack and i'll keep like my wallet and all my stuff that i need more immediate access to in here your earbuds your airpods or whatever your phone your boarding passes keep them all in here especially if you like me i fly spirit all the time because flights from la to las vegas on spirit are really cheap and i go there pretty often they don't allow a carry-on unless you pay extra for it so like i said i'll have the one bag and i'll have my fanny pack and when you wear your fanny pack across your waist as dorky as it looks the hack is you can't necessarily wear it like a sling like the fashionable kids do these days because I have had flight attendants tell me when I was wearing it like this like oh you need to do something with that bag you can only have one bag and I was just like okay I'll do something with it put it on my waist now it's part of my outfit now it's my clothes so you can't say anything and also if you think someone's gonna say something you just take your coat and you hold it over your fanny pack and you hide it that way also when you're sitting on the plane you got your airpods you got your headphones or whatever your little sneaky snacks you have them right here in your waist and you don't have to go digging through your carry-on or your personal item to find them they're just right here that's my hack is travel with a fanny pack don't be afraid to look like a nerd 
because everyone will realize that you're actually really cool because you know all the little tips and tricks for travel and you're not a nerd you're a cool kid and this fanny pack in particular i really like it was just from amazon but i like it because it's got a lot of capacity like you can fit a lot of stuff in here it's got a lot of little pockets for organization let me show you this this will blow your mind it comes with an attached rain cover which I have used and it worked. I went to New York and I had this as kind of like my main little purse bag and it was raining a lot. And so I put the rain cover on and it worked. And I like this one because the strap is really, really, really long. So if you're a plus size person, this will most, most likely fit you. It's pretty big, but also you can almost kind of wear it as just kind of like a, don't mind my Katya shirt, but. You can almost just wear it as like a you know a regular purse because the strap is so long me as a plus size person i don't really care for wearing fanny packs like this because it's like i don't like it's all up in my business you know what i mean but this one is so long very comfortable very easy to wear i also have i actually have this but i don't have it in this room with me it's called the ethnotech cyclo sling so i'll put a, a picture right here so you can see but that also you can wear it as a fanny pack but it's also kind of intended to be like a crossbody wear it as a fanny pack in the airport and then when you go out into your destination just like loosen the straps and then it's like a crossbody and the straps on that are also super long like they're ridiculously long so it really just becomes like a crossbody purse i think that's all my hacks like i said this is nothing earth shattering nothing crazy but these are all just little things that i do to make getting through airport security and navigating airports faster and easier and more convenient maybe i gave you some ideas maybe if you have some ideas that you want to share with me please leave them in the comments i would love to know them if you have any questions about anything please leave those in the comments and i will do my best to answer those questions if you did enjoy this video please consider subscribing to my channel uh, my goal this year is to up my subscriber count so i can actually kind of build a real community in youtube so i would love to have you subscribe and if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a thumbs up so I guess, yeah, with all that being said, I guess I will see you next time. Bye, friends.